In this lesson, we are going to talk about error handling in Apollo Server. Okay, so let's get started by cleaning up some previous lessons work. So I am using, we are now using Mongoose or MongoDB. So we know we don't need a unique ID generator. So let's delete this. Uh, we don't want data. We are storing it in MongoDB so we can get rid of that. Uh, what else can we get rid of? Okay, I think that's it. Further, we need to install something called NodeMon so that we don't have to keep on restarting our node server. It will automatically det detect our changes and um, then re restart the server. So let's install that. Install NodeMon. You can actually install this globally as well. You don't have to install it. Um, in the repository so i'm going to show you nodemon and do index.js when i do this it's going to watch the files and it's going to when i save something it's going to restart the server that's what we want uh, after that uh, let's uninstall nanoid because we deleted it so nanoid okay that is happening next let's start with our validation so i want to do some input validations uh, in apple server we have few errors that we can throw we have authentication errors we have pop-in errors and we have user input error and we have a apple error for generic errors today we are going to talk about user input error uh, we are going to validate the user input when we are creating a form when we are creating a character and just throw some errors so we can do this in the add character mutation. So to do my validations, I'm going to install a package called joy. Uh, it's from happy and joy. It's a good, really good package. Uh, I mean, it's really nice validation it provides. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to install this. All right, is it installed? Yes, we have that. And let's go to the documentation. Cool, I'm going to use that. So let's start our so server, nodemon index.js. Cool, you can close this off now let's first import joy so const joy equals require it's in happy there it is now how joy works is you have to create a schema of how the data should look like so we can do joy dot object and pass in the how the validations here so i can say the name must be a joy string it should be alpha num which means it can have only alpha alphabetical numbers and it should be minimum three characters long and maximum 30 characters long you can do that and make it required so there are plenty of options uh, you can use uh, you can just check the documentation in order how to do that. Uh, next, we have status. We, I'm going to make it a join string and required. And finally, we are going to have gender, which is going to be a join string. And image is also not required. It's just going to have to be a string. Okay. So once we get the data from the payload, when we get the data from the client, we can use this schema to do the validation. So we can do schema, schema dot validate and pass in our payload. Also, there's this option that we can do. So for example, let's say we are submitting the form, create character form. I haven't filled out the name and I haven't filled out the status. We do want to show the user that you have to fill both of these fields. So we don't just don't want to send that name is not filled and 
send that er only that error so we can say don't abort just continue don't abort early is false that means we will get all the validation error messages for the given set of inputs okay so what this gives um, let me pull this up a little what this gives us is two things it gives the value if it passes if it gives an error if it doesn't so i want to do if there's an error what we can do is throw a new user input error user input error so we need to input this import this so let's do that user input error okay uh, first here we can put a message let's say failed to create a character due to validation errors let's do that and let's pass in all the validation error messages that we get so we can do uh, validation errors is going to be the error dot details which will have all the validation error messages oops i have forgotten to equal sign here there we are cool uh what else uh i am putting too many brackets let's get rid of that cool now let's check the details in our playground let's go here and let's empty the name and the status and let's submit it yes we get failed to create character due to validation errors that's what we wrote and we have the validation errors here we can say the message name is not allowed to be empty uh, and status is not allowed to be empty see we get the, both the input errors okay that is it for the server we installed joy we also installed nodemon that is not relevant and we created a schema saying that this is how our payload or our input should look like it should have a name status gender image and it should follow these rules it should be a string it should have only alphabetical characters minimum three and maximum 30 characters also when we do this we can also men modify our character model in mongoose to say that we there cannot be an empty name so we can do this so we can say type is string we can also say required to true this way even if our joy if we did if we forgot to add joy or do a validation we can guarantee that mongoose will fail if we don't provide uh, a name and a status so i'm going to do time string and required to be true cool so now those are required please note that these restrictions are provided by mongoose not mongodb mongodb does not care how your document structure is going to be or whether you have a name or status or gender or whatever these are implied or implemented by mongoose okay so we did that on the model as well also what we can do is we can say in our mutation that a name is required and a status is also required we can do that and here in the character also we can do it's required we can do that by putting this bang sign in front okay we are done with the server now let's move to our create view component uh, so we are doing this mutation and once we do the mutation if we get an error we will get it here so we can do catch it and we can do whatever we want here so let's just console log it uh, e oh, console log errors are going to be e.graph ql errors 
that's the key that the errors are going to be in uh one last thing before we try this out we have to put a bank sign for name and status why because we update our mutation function mutation here we said the name has to be a required string and the status has to be a required string so we have to put the bank signs in our mutation here in the client as well okay all is good let's try this Okay, we get the errors we get the main message saying failed to create character due to validation errors and in the extensions validation errors even though i have misspelled it the key um, we have all the error messages but we are getting all the name status gender image is not allowed to be empty uh, that's because in joy when we say joy string it does not allow empty strings if you check the documentation go to api and check for string and see where is it where is it where is it where i can't why can't i find it okay yeah here it says note that m string is not allowed by default and must be enabled with allow empty don't overthink it just remember that m string is not a valid string by default yeah and they have said that don't ask to change it or argue with it it doesn't make sense this topic is closed yeah so if you want empty strings loved here we have to do like this or we can do a love or we can actually put a default value but just allow empty strings now let's try it again refresh and submit we get what are the other messages we should get only two and we get only two name and status are not allowed to be empty yeah so our a server works fine our mutation we get the errors in our client we can just put them in a errors key and use it however we want uh, i'm just going to put it into the errors object and forget about it okay so e dot graphql errors cool i think we are done yes we are done so to recap we used joy we used user input error and we learned about required Key required fields and we learned about mongodb we can do required as well or validations in our schema we learned how to use joy and one last thing here we should use value and not the payload because value is guaranteed that the validation has been passed but not the payload so let's use value instead of the payload okay that's it i hope you learned something on this lesson please do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe thanks a lot for watching have a good day bye